could always walk backwards if you prefer. No, no, that's okay. I've got an artistic idea. Look, I'm filming the shadows of us walking. Long shadows. You're doing rude things behind my head. Well, we're out for a little walk this evening. Evening, YouTubers. We've got uh, Gibraltar just there. Got to get some exercise, get some sun. As uh, the sun's going down, we'll just show you the sun. There it is. It's quite low in the sky, so I figured uh, I won't burn if I come out this time in the evening. Just watch out for these fishing rods as they're casting. Yeah, we, this is where don't all, trust them entirely. This is where all the fishermen come in the evening. Yeah, they love it. They sit here for hours. Uh, don't know if they catch anything, but uh, I've never been down this far before. Haven't you? No. I've always been too busy. I was rushing off to work in the opposite direction. I never even got to go round the Harbour Arm, and now we're not allowed. It's a building site now. They're building an exciting new marina. Yeah, I saw the tippers there. For everyone day. to enjoy. Anyway, big news for today. Uh, Papillon got caught, apparently. He, uh, he was on his way to Heathrow Airport to uh, cling to the bottom of a 747 or something. And uh, <laughs> they caught him in, uh, where was it? Under another van. Chiswick or something. I don't know. <laughs> they, they caught him anyway. They put out a reward of 20 grand for him and obviously Greedy Peck was all ringing up. Yeah, I think I've spotted him, I think I've spotted him. They must have had loads of phone calls from all over because they, trust me, they won't give anybody a penny. Not one shiny penny. But members of the public fall for it every time and they get greedy and then they're looking around, they're extra vigilant. And they go, oh, 20 grand, 20 grand. Right, that's it, that's me. Here he is. And then they go, thank you very much, good, bye. And that's it, you don't get your money. I think someone's sleep. living there. Yeah, some people sit there, well they're always going to sleep there for the night. My God, they've made a bed for the pillow and everything. <laughs> yeah. So, he'll be on the uh, on the naughty list. He's been, uh, he'll be on the E list. That means he'll be banged up all the time and some screws follow him everywhere he goes. Screws wait for him outside the showers and things. So he'll be, he'll be constantly being monitored because he's made everyone a laughing stock, hasn't he? So let's just hear Fiona. I was going to go right to the edge here and see what's going on. I don't on. know. Oh, it looks like there's a bit of a ladder. I think the. Uh, don't think we can get through here. No, I don't think we can. I think the big fence is completely not allowed. Well, we're here, isn't it? Yeah. Unless we're going to interfere with what these guys are doing. We can sit over here, look. You can tell we haven't planned any of this. I don't, yeah. We'll be downwind with the line. Well, I think we can sit here, can't we? It's a shame we've not... Oh, we don't want the sun in the background, because that makes, <laughs> us, makes us like two shadows, doesn't it? Like we work for the Secret Service. A couple of shadows. Uh, what was I going to say? No, let's go and sit on the bench there. It's no good, the light's all wrong. You keep talking about Papillon. Um, no, but he'll be on the E-list now. I think I think the guy should get an award. He should get a medal for, uh, for entertainment, if nothing else. I don't think he's dangerous. I don't think he's uh, a terrorist at all. Do you know anything about him? I know he, um, he he accessed some documents that he wasn't allowed to see, personnel files or something like that. And he had an imitation bomb on his desk. I mean, I'm not taking their word for it that he's dangerous. I'm just saying, are you certain he's not? Well, I haven't seen anything. Mind that, your step. There's a few that, uh, there. claims that he is I'm dangerous. Sure this bed again. This is amazing. It's awesome. That. And a thermos flask. Is that a gas canister of some description? It must be laughing oh, gas. That's awesome, isn't it? Yeah. That's got to be just so they can have somewhere to sleep while they're fi they'll fishing. Well, we were going to we were going to sit here, but there was loads of ants. You said. No, that was further down. You chose the one near the bins. The oh, well, let's sit on this one then. I think this one's all right. 
someone's got all there. Someone's bagged it already. Well, we're just out for an evening walk, this will do. Oh yeah, this is the one with... Oh no, the ants have gone. It must have been a different one. Huh? So you were going to talk about... You were going to talk about um, the Prince of Wales. There you go. Ooh. And the Princess of Wales. Yeah, I saw YouTube them on YouTube. Today. Fantastic. Got links on our community pages in case you missed it. They, they've been on YouTube with um, Princess Anne chatting about... Rugby, wasn't it, or sports? Just sports. sports in general, with Mike Tyndall. I think it's awesome that uh, cause they went to they went to Windsor Castle and started interviewing the uh, Prince and Princess of Wales. I thought that was amazing. You know, it's not the sort of thing Harry would do, is it? I mean, oh no, I want my privacy to go away. You got to pay if you want to talk to me. Got no idea as he how to become popular. Not at all. All he knows about is how to become unpopular. It's obvious the palace were doing it all for him. He's punching you, darling. There you go. Yeah, I got on the Daily Mail. I thought, I wonder, because it just popped up. It had only been up an hour. I shared it on a community post. I thought, I'd check the Daily Mail. Sure enough, it's there. Top story. Catherine, William and Anne being interviewed by Mike Tyndall and um, uh, what are they... Oh, I can't think of the name of the YouTube channel now. The Good, the Bad and the Rugby. The Good, the Bad and the Rugby. I've subscribed. So have I, yeah. And the comments on the Daily Mail, wow, very uncharacteristic. A rush of sugars, about four of them, commenting, 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 for all their life is worth. That is totally acceptable because tomorrow... It's National Day. Is National Day in Gibraltar. They just turn the camera around, so you. And they're just testing. They're testing the music. You see the Gibraltar. big flag. Can they see the big? Big red and white flag up the rock there. That's that... the Morris Castle. That's uh, the Gibraltar flag. And it's a national holiday tomorrow called National Day. And they're all going to yeah. wear red and white. And get pissed. And get blathered. That's what they do every year. And we well, I'm no no intention of going anywhere near Gibraltar tomorrow. And make lots of noise. <laughs> At least they don't well, keep people, it up all night. People pay, people pay to get in to, the, to all the noisy places. Fine, if that's what you want to do, that's cool. You you, you carry on. I, I'm not knocking it. I'm not stopping you. I just don't want to be there, okay? It's kind of, well, it's just everybody's out on the streets in every restaurant. Restaurants have to borrow, in fact, they normally borrow the bench from the Dolphin Safari. One of the restaurants comes up and says, Can I borrow your bench? I've run out of tables. Yeah, I'm making too much money. Well, good for them. Make hay while the sun shines. Absolutely, absolutely. And usually everyone's blathered by about three o'clock in the afternoon. That late? And, uh, Normally by about 12 o'clock. There's, there's drunken bodies everywhere that you're stepping over. And it's quite hot here still, so, you know, it goes to your head. Well, it does it is, it is cooler in September than uh, July and August are the worst. When you come in October, it's fabulous. It's like a British summer. It's cool. But the sun shines. I mean, look at the sky. It's there's not there's not a cloud. Boiling in the UK. There's not the a cloud in the sure. sky. Look, not one. Not listening, are you? It's boiling in the UK. You Loads said. of people have said in the comments, it's boiling. Absolutely roasting. It's unusual, isn't it? Well, we've had a good summer. It's about time, isn't it? Yeah, so National Days tomorrow. Yeah, these bloody sugars, they're all over the comments. And they're so stupid. They say stupid things like, oh, Kate and William and Anne are so unrelatable. Look at them living in their palace. Who the hell are they talking about? That's Windsor Castle. That is our palace. Belongs to the people, you bloody moron sugars. Doesn't belong to Prince William, Princess Anne and Princess Catherine. That's how stupid they the, are. The late, the late Queen stupid. gave it to the people, although she lives there. And then it burnt down and then she had to pay for it's it to be fixed. It's Crown property. It is British heritage. And we all know who they're paid by. And I just thought it was so funny because today's the first day of Invictus, which is a great cause, but I can't watch it because you've got to join up to, I don't know, some B unknown BBC iPlayer thing. Maybe use a VPN if you're not in the UK. It's so inaccessible. There's the Prince and Princess of Wales and the Princess Royal 
on YouTube, accessible, free to watch, and just a really relaxed, casual chat, you know, like the chats we do. And I thought it was awesome. And it will have pissed all over Harry's bonfire, and Madam will for sure be throwing di dishes, hurling them at rapid speed. I can, I'll wager, silly cow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she should have saved all her money on that PR and just been nice to people. I just had one question. Is he, is nice? he nice? Because he's been that nice, then that just wouldn't make sense for me. It'll never work. Never oh. work. I met another girl, aged 19, really into sort of Kardashians, pop culture and stuff. I said, what do you think of Meghan Markle? She said, I fucking hate her. 19 year old, a couple of days ago talking Why, why does Meghan come across so badly? You know, why, did, why is she most despised? I said, to Royal. This, I said to this girl, do any of your friends like her? And she said, no, I don't know anybody who likes her. Same as your daughter-in-law, she's what, 26, 27? Which she's, one? Um, well, you've only got one daughter-in-law, Liz. Oh, right. Yeah, well, they're not married. That's what threw me a bit there, I thought, eh? Oh, yeah. Well, you always call her. They right? are getting married. They're engaged, yeah. She's quite... Um, what did she say about them? She said, I can't stand Meghan Markle, and I don't know anybody who does like her. And Liz is actually a very sort of progressive, um, you know, she's into, it, into all that stuff. And she said, can't stand her. None of, neither can any of my mates. I think she's false. I think she's a liar. She does come across as false and fake, doesn't she? <laughs> and a she? liar and a bitch. Yeah, she yeah. does come across that the way. The truth will come out in the end. I mean, you watch William will uh, let the dogs out one day and say, well, there's all the findings of the investigation into her bullying and stuff like this. And I wonder if a certain couple of videotapes are going to be released and go viral of certain madams screaming her head off and smashing vases in Buckingham Palace. That'll put paid to the lot. That'd be it. That'd be it. And actually, now is the moment. There is a poll out today. Is there? What's the Several. poll? Several. In America, Meghan is now a minus two, according to Newsweek, one of her pet publications. Jack Royston, one of her butt kissers. So they'll be exaggerating that one. It'd be much worse than that. <laughs> Harry's popularity is slightly better. There's been a poll in the UK that says that the Brit a lot of the British public, 60% or something, would like King Charles to let Kate and William do more. Well, I've got an idea for King Charles. Take Meghan and Harry's titles away and their children right now and your popularity will soar, Your Majesty. It will soar. It's as simple as that. It's been a year already, hasn't it, since he was king, became yeah, king? I'm wondering where all these waves are coming from. Yeah. Hope You've was been not watching them as well, haven't you? Hope was not a tsunami. No, this is how it builds, isn't it? Oh, waves building. They are, aren't they? I mean, they've just come out of nowhere. There's absolutely nothing that's created, unless it's black mouth. Mm -hmm. Could be, you quite often get. Half an hour away. Should we take a walk down towards ships. the beach? Yeah, yeah. Ugh. And I've started on my roof. I've been staring at it most of the day, which I think is very productive. Oh, it's quite effective that being a silhouette. You've become a shadow. I like a couple of shadows. Sunset Spooks. behind. Spooks. Look, these waves are getting really quite large. You can hear them. Anyway, yeah. Uh, we're going to carry on walking with this bad lighting. It's not. It's nice having lighting behind palm trees. You can see the palm trees. There's a beach at the other end of this pier. We used to take the kids there all the time. And Faith put her head under the water. She wasn't that deep. She came face to face with a shark. Do you remember that? <laughs> it just came up and looked at her. Big shark. Well, she had a mermaid tail. We must have got confused. No, no, I didn't, don't think she had that then. She had just had the goggles. Oh, right. And she came up and she was only in about two and a half foot of water. She said, Mum, there's a shark. Big one. Yeah. <laughs> really? <clears throat> oh. Yeah, it's amazing how popular this spot is at night. I mean, there's just loads of cars and fishermen and people just rock up. I think it's like a social scene of all people fishing. I don't know. 
how successful they are at actually fishing, but... I've often thought they should put a swimming pool in here. I mean, I, I heard rumour that they were going to at one stage. There's a circle in the middle, and that's, that's what they were over there somewhere. Oh, that's the other big news. We're going to build our own jacuzzi in the next few weeks, apparently. Yeah, so we're, we're on our third jacuzzi, and it's burst. And we're sick of buying new it. ones. So we might build one out of bricks and build a whatever shape, and then use the old pod. From because we've got a few spare yeah. pods, haven't we? Yeah, well, I think the pod that we've got, and I can embed the control panel in the concrete, just got to fit the pipes through. Yeah, and um, the big challenge for me is the existing main drain um, and checking that that's okay and that it can take the pressure of a jacuzzi, a built in jacuzzi. Because I'm going to dig down, it'll be considerably larger than the one we've got, more like a small swimming pool. Um, before anyone asks, yes, I do have experience of building swimming pools, seriously, I do. So does Graham, actually. I do. <laughs> On different projects, so it is something I know quite a lot about. I think it'll be good fun. Yes, why not? I quite, uh, quite fancy that myself. I do find bricklaying very therapeutic, and I shall help, I shall be there. I think if you could just supervise and delegate. Yeah, I'll do. I'll do. I'll do a bit, you know, and see what I can do. Just, just turn the cement mixer on and off as and when needed. I'll, I can do yeah. the shoveling. And stuff. Well, we've got to dig a base first. Take some of the tiles up. Dig a base. I can do that. So I'm not going to dig that deep. I'll probably go well, down about 18 inches. I think we should check the drains as well. Yeah. Just to make sure they're okay. And um, I'm very pleased with the roof on my boat because. I've been putting off pulling these little rotten bits down on the corner because I thought oh, the whole bloody thing will probably come down and it didn't. It's not rotten, it's really quite solid um, and the spars are solid and that's the main thing. As long as they're solid I can fix the rest so I know exactly how to fix the roof. I reckon I can do that in about a day, especially with my new ladder. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then we'll be ready for the October rains. Well the actual top roof, I mean I fiberglassed that. We could take them up there to so have a look at it. So it's pretty it. solid. It's, it's pretty solid. It's just the wood around the edges that's gone a bit mangy. Well, we've never had the money um, or the time um, because this thing about this town is they don't sell wood anywhere. Unless you find a piece of wood by the bins, a decent piece of wood, they do not sell wood here. We all have to go round to a town on the other side of the bay called La Barrio. And that's where the Leroy Merlin is. And then you have to go and choose it, size it up, get it delivered. It's a big hoo-ha. It's not like you can just nip down and get a bit of marine ply. And I'm not going to use marine ply. I'm going to use solid oak or something like that. And uh, it, it's a hoo-ha. And it's not, it's not expensive, but it's not... As, so what we've used on it so far is really cheap plywood, which then Graham sheathed in fiberglass which has held up really well for 13 14 years yeah but obviously it's not been adequate and bit by bit i remember woke up one morning and i heard a boom and i went out in my silky pajamas and there were a load of swedish people on a yacht next door looking down their nose at my boat and the whole side had do you remember it just fallen off onto my lower deck and they all was pointing at it and i went what the hell do you want me to do about it at 6.30 in the morning? Do you remember that? That was about 10 years ago, wasn't it? <laughs> let's, let's finish the video by taking them up on the roof. Okay. And showing them the horrors. Going up on the new ladder. The yeah. owner's ladder. It's like Jacob's ladder. Oh, don't say that. This is a cool boat. Look at this. Mm. This is... Uh, Spectre boats. Oh, it's British. If I was a Bond buddy, I would want that boat, definitely. Spectre boats. You don't reckon it'd be a bit light on the nose? No, well, you get some baddies in the front there with machine guns, don't you, to chase after James Bond and shoot at him. 
Yeah. That's that's just that that honestly. Well, that's called Spectre Boats International. That would not be out of place, would it, in a Bond film? <laughs> that boat. That's cool. Look at that. That is super cool. I mean, there's a lot of money sat there. Trust me, more than I'll ever earn in my life. Those engines on the back. What size are they? I remember the police boat in Gibraltar had uh, enormous engines on it. I can't quite... 100 horsepower. The one in Jib had 300 horsepower each and there was four engines and they were 30 grand each. Each! Just for the engines. That's before you buy the boat. I think the boat was about a million pounds altogether. A million dollars and it's a law enforcement uh, high speed pursuit rib. And they bought two of them. Look at that. What? Big winch. Yeah. Must be the Dakar or something soon. But how you can tell if people actually take vehicles off road or not is to look down the side of the paintwork. And if there's any scratches down the side of the paintwork, then yes, they do go off road because you on narrow tracks you encounter bushes and tr trees and things that scratch the paintwork. So, you know, if you're an active off-roader, you will get your paintwork scratched, that's just what happens. And if you don't see any scratches, then uh, they don't go off-road that much, or they're very selective where they do go off-road. That's the bar. Did you see all the police cars outside the bar? They're uh, constantly in here. Because they've got, they've got three different police, four, that come here. The Port Police, Policia Local, Policia Nacional, and the Guardia Civil. And they all come here for a coffee and they have a big row of police cars all parked up outside the marina bar. All drinking tea, of course, or coffee. Sun's about to go down. So Fiona wants to do uh, um, roof. Here you go, darling. Where are you going? I don't know, you just hold it for a minute. Cause, oh, right, OK. Uh, I'll, I'll hang back a bit. That's you exhausting, can, is it? You can do some talking. Oh, I've had a long walk. It's been really good. Yeah, I think it's good for you. A little bit of a walk in the evening yeah. when the sun's weaker. And each night we'll go a little bit further if you feel up to it. Yeah. I've been doing a lot of um, lying down, oh, and, sitting, uh, sitting around, sitting down, watching YouTube and stuff, and so I really need to get some exercise, go walking, get a little bit of gentle sun yeah, on the skin, yeah, for sure when it's not too hot. Because you've had quite an active life actually, working at sea. You would generally walk into work. That's a good two kilometres at least, and then two back. Well, it takes half an hour. To yeah. walk from here to Dolphin Safari and an that's hour got to be back. a couple of miles. Actually. Half an hour back, so that's an hour there and back, isn't it? We walk at an average of four miles an hour, don't we? So it must be about two miles. Um, and then you're on the, the boat and you, you use a lot more muscles than you realise when you're on a boat because you're constantly balancing with sea legs. So that's you haven't had any of that. I don't know. Must be something exciting going on. Maybe a wedding. There's no traffic jam, they usually do that in traffic jams. I think it's, well, it could be, oh it could be football, isn't there some sort of rugby or football going on? Is there a football match? I don't know. Um, Maybe. Spain are quite good at football. Don't walk into the bench by accident. No. I've done that before now. Have you got your bib card? I have. Excellent. We're coming up to the month of the flies. Oh yeah. <laughs> when I was at work, I used to carry a can of aerosol with me in my back, in my side pocket, like a gunsling, and used to have to pull it out because the Spanish flies are really annoying. They land on your face, and then when you go to, they fly away, and then they come back and land on your face in the same spot or on your arms. They won't leave you alone. They just hound you, so you go, tsh, squirt them in the face, and that's it. They. Uh, you get the message. Hate flies. I mean, I don't. I don't shoot animals, as you know. I've got an air air rifle. I don't shoot animals ever. Shoot the flies. 
but I've killed loads of flies. I mean, I've got no, and mosquitoes. No sympathy whatsoever, at all. I had a thing on my back when I pulled a little piece of the roof down. I felt something running all over my back and neck. Is it a spider? I thought it was a spider. No, it wasn't. It was a silverfish. <laughs> it fell off my shoulder and onto the carpet and went, oh, it must have come off the roof. I'm glad it wasn't a cockroach. Oh my God, if it had, well, I would have just died. I'm afraid I do overreact when I see them. It's a normal thing in Spain. There's God, loads we of, don't have any loads on the boat. Loads of roaches. Oh. No, we, we haven't got any on the boat that 2015 I know 2015 we had some on the boat. They came in the packaging. I think maybe with the chairs we bought. And I sprayed everything with vinegar. I saw, it was really awful actually, this little kid was torturing a cockroach with a glass of vinegar and it died. I thought, right, that's what they don't like. So I filled the back of the fridge with vinegar, cleaned the inside of the fridge, everything with vinegar, and they actually left the boat. Graham, Faith and Ben saw You lost them running down the pontoon. Leaving the boat down the Two pontoon. of them we away never, from the boat. Never saw them again. That's absolutely <laughs> true, absolutely true. Right, we're going to go up on the roof. Right, you'll have to edit it. Boo boo! It's been recommended you get your own YouTube channel, Boo. What do you reckon? Meow. 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 Do you want your own YouTube channel? She already has one. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you'd done that. That's Fiona's new ladder. She's gone to pour a gin and tonic. Okay, well here we are up on the uh, on the roof. This is the wind turbine generator thing, and you can see the um, it's generally all fiberglass. That there's not a problem in the middle, but the overhanging bits we never bothered to fiberglass them. I don't think we had enough fiberglass. And the back end is obviously sagging a little bit there, and the corners are really. What's suffering? Oh, here she comes. Hello, darling. Hello. Ashtray, don't forget the ashtray. Ashtray in the wind. Yeah, please stay on. Don't walk on this side. I know. Of the okay. I know, I'm not yeah. stupid. Oh, it's been a long time since we've been up here, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and don't try to tread on the pelmet at the front either. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going <laughs> Quite to. limited. Don't stand there. Don't stand there. Don't go there. That's a plastic pipe. I just covered that in fiberglass because the, the rain used to run down and leak into the windows. Oh, is that so why we, you put it we, there? We, I, well, I sealed the windows as best as I could, and then I put that across so that the rain would go off okay. the sides. Cats coming to join us. Do you reckon? I think so. Um, yes, I was looking at that last night and I was wondering, I wonder why, please don't step back. I'm not going to. I wonder why he put that there. Now I know. I thought it was a metal pole. Now there was something there originally. Oh, uh, yeah, I think this. It was, was it that? This. That mast bit, yeah, yeah. That's an old electric winch off um, someone's boat. Bobo, you coming to join us, boss? Meow. Yeah. That's going to blow in the sea if you're not I careful. I'll get rid of it in a minute. That one's alright. Yeah, I think the original carpenter did quite a good job. Yeah. That one's alright. Can't find that one or that one. I'll, have to... I'll pull all that up tomorrow. And then my new planks will just go over the top. And I'm going to um, basically put a new roof on with nice thick planks all the way across. Of course, this blooming windmill's a bit in my I'm way. stand over here because... I can take that down. That's, Please don't that's... step back. I'm so scared. If you stand over stand. there, stand over there. I've oh, got right, the rocker Gibraltar in the back. Come on, I've got to... 
photographer, you know, I've got to think of my shots. I'm just worried you'll fall down the hatch. I'm not going to fall down the hatch, okay? So. It's really high up. Time. I asked a guy who worked at Dolphin Safari, he was a carpenter, I said, can you fix it? And he went, it's very high up, I might fall and hurt myself. And then his girlfriend said, it's too high up, he's too delicate, he might hurt it. I just thought, oh, for God's sake, I'll do it myself. I'm not naming any names, but I think you know who I'm talking about. Oh, Christian, you mean? <laughs> well, it's a true story, if he sees it, that's exactly what he said. It's too dangerous to my boat. It's too high up. You should sort of film it down so they can see how, without going near the edge. Please don't. I beg you, don't go near the edge. I won't Not go near the edge. current state. Wait till I've fixed it. That'll be perfect. I do love this place. You know, it's 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 pretty cool. It is. Even if our boat doesn't go. Even if there is a tidal wave on the way, everywhere's got its problems. Oh, well, we've got a YouTuber who's come over. Phil, I think his name is. And uh, he's staying in that hotel oh, as we oh, speak. Really? So he might wave or he might say hello. I don't know. If you can hear us, Phil, give us a wave. <laughs> <laughs> or come and say hello. Yeah, why not? I think we should get down off this roof now very carefully yes I'm, I'm going to turn the camera off before I attempt to go down the hatch <laughs> at least I regret it later so good night everybody and may your God go with you <laughs>